Hey everybody, Brett from Stardews Gaming here, back with another episode of our Battle Brothers Let's Play. So in the last episode, we took a job down in uh, Otterndorf, way, way over here, where uh, they sent us to go deal with some orcs, which I thought would be a nice change of pace. Uh, we've been fighting undead um, for a while now. This is, you know, the undead endgame crisis. So, uh, kind of expected, but it's always nice to take a break from fighting the same thing over and over. And so we got paid to fight some orcs uh, all the way over here on this little peninsula. And uh, it went mostly well. The orc warriors did give us some trouble. Um, Bram, with his new hammer, was able to tear through them pretty effectively. But he got kind of bogged down on some little guys. And so that made it sort of hard to put him where we needed him. Um, and so as a result, uh, Ivar the Patient got pretty beat up in that fight. And unfortunately, he has a permanently broken elbow. So that's going to really, really hamper his offensive abilities and his melee defense, which was already really terrible anyway. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, that handicaps him from now on and uh, is really going to hurt us. But he is a bowyer, so I'm going to keep him around at least until he makes a masterwork bow. And if we can salvage his his skills, it may be worth keeping him permanently. Um, but, you know, with the injury, he's totally okay with being in reserve, so... He might just be like uh, Baldur the Militiaman, where we just keep him around in case we need a body to throw in there. But at the same time, it might be better to just hire somebody new. Uh, so once we get that Masterwork bow, we'll, we'll think on this again. But for now, I think we'll just leave it be. Um, it looks like he did level up, though, and we did not handle that in the last episode. Uh, Bram hit the, the level cap at level 11, so uh, he will not be getting any more perks. Um... I don't remember if you can, yeah, yeah, they can still improve their skills indefinitely. You just don't get any more perks. It's, it's been a while since I've had anybody hit level 11 in a playthrough. Um, so, yeah, Ivar. It looks like we already did the skills. I think I just forgot to allocate the perk. Um, I'll give you bow mastery, I guess. But uh, it may, may not matter. Anyway... Um, so we dealt with the orcs, and now we are at the Lair of Dark Rituals, um, where we are seeking to complete our, uh, our ambition of destroying locations beset by undead, and this is exactly that. So, uh, we've got a necromancer, some armored zombies, and a fallen hero. I don't think they'll give us too much trouble. We aren't getting paid to do this, but there could be some decent loot here, and, uh, I think completing our ambition is worth it. So, uh... It looks like we are properly equipped here. Alexander is a bit worse for wear. His armor is fully intact, though, other than a bit of damage to his headgear. So I think we'll leave him in. Uh, his HP is probably higher than... Yeah, I mean, his HP while wounded is just as high as Arn's max HP. So I don't see any reason to swap him out. Uh, right, let's get in there and fight then. Okay, so we got some pretty rough terrain happening here. Um, I am not a fan of this. Wow. Okay. Um, so we are going to have to do some major maneuvering here. We're going to have to get everybody up onto this plateau. And then uh, we'll decide what to do from there. But I'll probably try to cut them off. I don't think we'll do it in time. Yeah, I, I imagine that'll be pretty difficult to do. Uh, there's our fallen hero. He's got no helmet. So a, a flail actually would have been pretty useful here. It's got pretty nice looking armor on though. But yeah, so we're gonna, you know, try to shift everybody up onto this if we can. Might have to fall back in the process just to give ourselves some time. But as long as we can get up here, that's the important thing. Uh, we do have a necromancer right there. At least we can see him. Um, we're gonna do our best not to kill too many zombies until uh, he's dealt with. Because obviously that will just uh, be a nightmare. Keep moving, keep moving. Can you get up here? No. Okay. I hate wasting turns like this. But when you get put in spawn points like this, I mean, what can you do? Ooh, can they close with me? I don't think they can close with me at that distance. They do have to go uphill. So, we'll do whatever we can here. Oh, I hope I didn't block the, uh... I gotta make sure people can still get up. Let's see, Bram, I think you were about there. 
I don't know, to be honest. Just move as far as you can, really. It, it doesn't matter. That should be fine. These guys should have no problem getting into position because they're already on flat ground. Merrick, get as close as you can. Uh, right there is okay. And Frank, hop on over. Oh, they're going to fall back, huh? Alright, so they kind of screwed me on the initiative here. Um, this guy got to go twice before he got to go again. So, we're stuck in combat right there. We'll see what we can do. I'm going to try to take this little corner, basically. Um, so, to that end, I'm actually going to move up my archers a bit. I'm going to have them wait, though. Everybody in the back line is just going to wait. Because i got to get my front liners into position. Because if I can't do that, then I'm not going to commit to this strategy. Uh... Like, how far can I move? If I move you there, you can still spear wall. But I'd rather grab up as much of this high terrain as we can. Hmm. I'm thinking that might be better. Because you can't make it to there. Let's, uh, no, I can't afford to have you wait. Or maybe I can, yeah. I'm gonna put you... I think here. Uh, don't do that. I think you'll be okay. Hop to there. Hop to there. Hop to there. Okay. Bram, I want you... I mean, I want you fighting him, so maybe I should keep you in reserve. But I can't hold everybody back. Callie, I need you to get your axe out and start killing this guy. Jacques, let's get you up here. That is unfortunate. Uh, go there then. Merrick, I left that spot open just for you. Good job. Let's see what they decide to do here. Uh, I'm hoping that this is effectively blocked. I don't think they can get... Well, they probably can't get to there. But I don't want them to have that spot between my two spearmen. Frank, let's get you... If I put you there... You know what? Go here. I can put Casper there. But yeah, I want to basically grab up all of this high ground. And make them fight me uphill. Not that we really need the advantage, but... I figured it would be easier this way, because I can get my archers even closer to the Necromancer and uh, get some more shots off on him. So let's see, Vlad, let's put you right there. Uh, Jora, as close as you can get to this mess, the better. I'll probably plop him right there and just let him stab in every direction. Uh, Alexander, get behind somebody with a lot of armor. Christopher, you do the same. Yeshko, yeah, get up here. And Casper, I wanted you there. And then Bram, you're actually going to jump over here. And engage that fallen hero. Okay, Jora, I want you there. And so he'll uh, give everybody a resolve boost in that area too which is nice um, you're actually fine where you are go ahead and start shooting good job that's what I like to see I might need to move him so that he gets a better angle on that Alexander go ahead and shoot at him as well but you're eventually gonna need to get that axe out to help out oh come on guys you're killing me here Let's see. No real need to uh, fight defensively here because we have the high ground. So uh, I think we can pretty much just attack, attack, attack. Let's see. I'm actually going to move you there and have you spear wall. And he's basically going to deny all this territory. Uh, let's see. Come on, kill him, kill him. 
Ah. Merrick, why don't you finish him off then? Good job. Okay, what's happening now? Okay, you're filling in that spot. We'll want to kill him off too. I was hoping to get these guys back, actually. But I don't think that's going to happen. What is your current... I can't see what his uh, resolve is, but it it looks like he's got a, a flag up, which is not good. Um, let's see here. 95. Yeah, get after him. Frank, keep throwing stuff at people. Can you hit him from there? Uh, not likely. Got the helmet destroyed there. Okay, so they can hop up. That's fine. Jora can handle himself up there. And we're not spearballing anyways, so... It's really not a big deal. But, um... We'll see. Alright, so Bram's engaged now. But that's what I wanted. I wanted Bram one-on-one -on -one with that guy. Alright, Jora. Since he's all up in your face, go ahead and lay into him. I probably should have had him take that kill and then hit him with the second one. Let's see. They are doing their best to protect that Necromancer. But we'll keep pouring arrows into there. Let's see. That costs 8 AP, so I can't move and use that. Um, just stay where you are. I don't think you're in any danger. Nicely done. Okay, Alexander. I would like to take advantage of your free shot, but I need you to move. Actually, I think that was a waste, because I don't know that he can attack down two levels anyway. Yeah, he can't. So that was a waste. Mieszko. Um, 10%. Let's have you move up to here. And go ahead and shoot that guy, but then I'm going to have you get your axe out. All right, Sinric. Um, why don't you attack this guy? Because I don't want anybody up here with us. He's the only one fighting on level ground right now, so I, I prefer to get rid of him. Of course, they'll just throw somebody else in that spot, but that's fine. We'll just keep killing them. Or I could probably throw Merrick over there, even. Good job. Um, you have to stay and fight. Okay, you keep spearwalling, because that seems to be working pretty well. They're going to try to flank around this way. And that's fine. It gives me more time. Um, lay into this guy some more. I don't really care about these guys on the low ground attacking you. They're not going to be a, much of a threat. It's the, uh... The guys on level ground that are dangerous. Oh, come on. You had him. Alright, Bram. Time to get to work. Uh, just smite him. Oh, he blocked him. Okay. So he's on level ground with us now. That's concerning, but I don't think it's really going to matter all that much. Jora, good job, and then use that to, uh, I wonder how many of these we can chain. Like, if I get another kill, does he get the action points back again? Apparently not. Well, it was good to test it, right? Okay, Vlad. Keep shooting him. Good job, okay, so he's gone. No longer a threat. 30% right there. 40 there. 75. Uh, go after this guy. I don't want him coming around to the side if we can help it. Nicely done. Um, well, you can attack him now, so that was sort of a miscalculation on their part. Ah, they keep leapfrogging. Oh well. Um, maybe don't hit his helmet? I don't think they're really listening. 
Uh, you, yeah, see, you should target the head because he doesn't have a helmet. This guy had really bad armor, so maybe you should target the armor. Uh, I'm just going to pin you down right there. Probably easier that way. Let's see. You know what? If you kill him, I can move Merrick down there to help you, so... Start working on that guy. Good job. Bram, keep attacking him. That's what I like to see. If you can get a headshot, though, we might be able to salvage that armor. And that would be kind of nice. Alright, Frank. Where do I want you? This side is pretty much handled. Let's move you this way. And I'll have you jump into that spot. Ah, uh, of course. Alright, Jora. Uh, put him back into the dirt. Oh, I thought you'd get the kill there. I was hoping to double double shot those guys or whatever. 37. Really? He's intervening, huh? If you move there, you get a clean shot. Not a particularly good one, but hey, blocked it anyways. Christopher, I'm going to have you get your spear out. And then I'm going to have you slide into here, and then you can start stabbing him from there. Uh, Mieszko, finish him off. And then uh, Alexander. Oh, please don't destroy his armor. All we needed was like two good headshots. And again, there's, there's our headshots on the guy with the really nice helmet. Okay, so he's down. Casper's got that guy. Uh, Bram's getting kind of beat up, actually. I mean, he's got really good armor, so it's not... It's not like they're going to be able to take him out or anything, but... You know, they are going to put some... Put a dent into his HP, at least. Uh, and there goes his armor. Keep working on that guy. I'm going to try to have one of these two slide in there. Good hit. And let's see, he's probably going to give it right back. No. Alright, Jora, Time for some combos. Come on. Why is that being weird? There's one and two. So that's like, what, five kills for him this match? Or this uh, battle? There's the kill there. So there's only three left. Um, one of which is right here. I'm going to take that chance. Of course. Uh, you can't hit him from there, so there's no point in moving you. Let's see. Yeah, you can't hit him either. I guess you can get your crossbow out and reload it. Oh, you don't even need to. Nice. But you missed. Alright, uh, Merrick hop down there to deny that spot. And let's see. Sinric. I'll just have you spear wall. So there's three left. I only see... Maybe he's down below somewhere. Ah, yeah, he's there. I was going to say, I only saw two. Again with the helmet shots. Uh, can you even attack him from there? I don't think we can. Yeah, he's two levels below, so he's kind of kind of safe right there. Hopefully he decides to attack us. I'll just let my guys rest. Go ahead and finish that guy off. So he's the only one left. Uh, Bram, you want to see if you can get him with an axe? Let's see. There we go. And no dice. Okay, so we're going to get two back this turn. Oh, three, four. Wow, okay. Um, fine. Let's put this guy back down. Let's see, Jora, Get rid of him. And that's all you can really do. Good job. Let's see. Do you have a shot on that guy? 74. 
Nice. So I don't have to go after him. Merrick. Please get that guy. Nice. Uh, you stay where you are. Frank. Come on. You got this. Nice. Alright, there we go. Uh, didn't really take too much damage there. It looks like... Kali and Casper and... Oh, and Jacques, Jacques and Cinderic were wounded. I was going to say only like one or two people, but no, four people. Uh, let's see. We did recover a pretty nice mace. Um... A decent little helmet here and another heater shield so that wasn't too tough um, we did of course complete our ambition we didn't really get much of a reward for it um, but we'll head back to Otterndorf and get our real reward now and then we'll probably try to find another job all right so our ambition is fulfilled I did get an achievement for that um, let's see everybody seems to be pretty stoked or if they weren't stoked they are at least now content um, what did we get? We gained Renown, and we gained an Undead Trophy. I'll have to see what that is. It might just be something that we sell. So thanks to the Birds of Hermes, the shambling monstrosities of the Lair of Dark Rituals will never again threaten innocent folk. The men, however, will need a few days and copious amounts of drink to, per to process the horrors they face. How can anything so foul show itself by the light of day? Asked Mieszko, staring blandly into the distance. It collapsed, it collapsed straight into a heap of rotten bones and dust. Nothing at all holding it together, but it's cursed. Uh, oh, that's a big jump. Even dark fears are sparked for Sinric the Moose. Uh, they told me back in Kargberg that any good man killed by one of them horrors is doomed to come back from the grave himself and can never sit by the gods. Uh, some men argue loudly against this, not because they know better, but because they don't want it to be true. Give the order to bank. You give the order to bank the fire before someone starts telling any more ghost stories. The men may have trouble sleeping this night, but morale will rise again with the dawn. Cool. Uh, so let's take a quick look at that item. I'm I'm intrigued. Uh, is it not an item? I don't see it in our inventory. Oh, there it is. Undead trophy. Uh, so does that is like that like a head? item thing or oh that's pretty badass oh they wear it on the armor um i'm gonna give it to jora i think jora earned it let's see 58 battles and 92 kills so he's almost averaging two kills for every battle everybody else is averaging about one or less uh, just to give you an idea like merrick 82 battles 84 kills so basically one every fight uh Kali, 42 battles, 33 kills, so basically 3 kills in every 4 battles. Uh, Sinric, 54, 73. He's actually doing surprisingly well. Uh, let's see. Bram, 87 and 98. Yeah, so he's a little bit above 1. Jacques is pretty much right at 1. Frank is... Uh, it's hard to say with numbers that low, but basically 1. Uh, Casper, a little bit above 1. Alexander's a little bit below, way below for Christopher. Vlad is a little bit above. So I'm not really noticing any trends. It doesn't look like anybody in any particular position has an advantage, except for maybe Jorah. Um, but yeah, like one, some of our archers are doing really well, like Vlad, and some of them not so well. But yeah, Jorah, you're going to get this. Uh, I was hoping it would go under his beard. That's a bit lame. Oh well, uh, you can carry that in your inventory. Actually, let's see how it looks on... Basically, whoever has the coolest... Or whoever it looks the coolest on is going to get it. Um, I don't know. It, it definitely looks better than it did on Jorah, just because of the, the fact that the beard's in the way. So I guess I'll leave it on Bram for now. I just I feel bad giving Bram like everything that's... Like every good thing that we get. We'll pretend that Bram is like the uh, the leader. Bram, Sir Bram of Otterndorf. Maybe I should make that adjustment. He's like our, our commander. And then Jorah's our, our standard bear. Uh, while I'm here, though, I will go ahead and equip our ranged weapons. And uh, I guess we'll continue on our way to Otterndorf.
All right, so here we are, and there is our pay. Schnellen's no longer being attacked by Greenskins, so we might be able to get some decent, or at least more reasonable prices here. Um, there is another job for us, so we'll take a quick look at that. We are going to need to grab some more tools in the next episode, but we are out of time. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Battle Brothers with you, and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode.